In this episode of Tesla series, we're going to show you this no drill, super safe, easy to install solution for your front license plate. And this installs in just a minute and it is super easy to remove this and it has that security lock over here. This comes from EB Base and we have a special discount code Shiva Tesla that you can use to save a lot of money on their entire inventory. Not just this product, but all the other product we have reviewed as well as anything that they have on their website. Our discount code works for anything, Shiva Tesla. All right, let's see what the packaging comes with. It is a well-insulated packaging. It comes with all the instructions manual on how to put all of this together, which I am going to show you in the video. So this is the license plate frame itself. This feels like a heavy duty metal at the same time is super light. So that's the top bracket. And then inside, um, they actually send you a, wow, this, this is a pretty nice screwdriver. A, <laughs> a heavy duty screwdriver. This is a first for a uh, product like this to actually have a really nice uh, tool. Uh, and then they send you all the washers and the screws. These are really cool screws because they got the cover. Um, it's the anti-theft. Uh, and then over here is your uh, bracket. Uh, so how this works is that they got a key over here and when you open the key, you can turn this dial. So if you turn this dial clockwise, uh, that is when this expands. So they expand and then they hold on to that grill area. And if you dial this to counterclockwise, so this is the lowest it will go, this is the smallest setting. And when you increase this, if you imagine your license plate being this way, if you increase this towards here, this bracket and this bracket grab onto that area on the bumper, the grill area. And that's how you secure all of this into its place. Increase this to here and this is super tight and this just can't come out. Then you turn the key and then you take this key. Now you can't rotate this dial anymore. That means people can't steal your license plate. You gotta need the key to be able to rotate this dial. The installation of this is super simple. There is this four screws that came with the kit. Uh, they are aside from this packaging, uh, this were inside that Ziploc bag that came with the kit. And what you have to do is just align this bracket here with the bottom portion, this bracket, and make sure that that is facing the bottom like this so you have enough clearance. What you don't wanna do is flip it over and then put this over here, then um, your license plate might not fit, you might have some issues. So just make sure that this is aligned such a way that you have this towards the bottom and all we have to do is install this four screws. They pre-installed the nuts over here so you don't even have to worry about having a wrench to tighten any of this. This screw just goes in over here and it tightens in place so you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and install this four uh, screws and then secure this plate. All right, so we put in the four screws and this is nice and secure in place. Now, we just have to install our license plate and put this whole thing in. What I'm gonna do actually is I am going to first install it to show you from all the angles of what this looks like. And then I'm going to grab one of our old license plates and then just fit it here. But as you see, this is a full size license plate and the holes align perfectly. So this is a really nice match for a full size license plate. So how this works is that if you see right here, there is that middle pin that actually pinches on this middle part here. So it slides into the middle part, so for further security. Then this claws that you see on the edges, the top and the bottom, they hold on to this bottom portion of the bumper here and the top portion of the bumper here, and they just grab onto them. So as we rotate this dial over here, what is happening, as I said earlier, is this expand. So when they're expanding, they're grabbing onto this, like the claw, and then they hold onto its place. As you see, we got a camera here in the front, which is not an issue. Uh, what we can do is just work around the camera and we just have to slide this into its place here. And once this is all good to go, just making sure the middle portion is right there, then we can start tightening this. So let me show you a little bit of a close up of what this looks like. So as you see here, what we are doing is we are aligning this middle tab and then it just goes and holds here. And once we start tightening this, so when we tighten this towards the clockwise position, as you see, that claw went up and the bottom one, and now this is in place. That's how simple it is. And when we remove this, 
So we dial it towards the clockwise, counterclockwise position. And once we do that, as you see that the top one released, and we can just pop this out. And once you find that spot where this is fully secured, um, you can just turn this key and take it out. Now this is secured and nobody can turn this knob anymore because there is that lock in place. And this is good to go. Now we can install the license plate. Now they did something unique with this screws that secure the license plate into the bracket here. And what they did is it's a four piece system. So first you put this uh, screw through this bracket over here. Then of course you secure it into the back using this knot. So we'll be using that knot to secure it in the back. Then outside, you're going to put this cover and it kind of hides that screw. So when you're looking at it from the top, you don't even have that place for the screw to go. So you have secured this. But the problem now is how do you access it when you need it? Technically, you don't have to because once you remove this, you can always remove this back nut and then be able to access this screw. So you wouldn't have that screwdriver to secure this. You'd kind of have to hold it here and then secure it from the back side. So I'll show you how to do that uh, next. But I just thought that this was interesting where they thought about a solution, but I think they created another problem. Align this here, put this pin, uh, this bracket, and then insert this screw through this hole. And then once you pass that, then you take this knot and then secure it from the back. This might be easier if you do this part of the installation before you install the plate in place, but it's, it's not that bad. Uh, again, just following the same exact process, we'd align this, we push the screw through here, we'll put the knot from the back. Just do that on all four of these holes here. And the very final step, as I said earlier, is to just install this pin here. And we're good to go. All right, so this is the final product over here. As you can see, the plate is very aligned and all of those are screws. You can't even tell these are screws. So somebody's trying to mess with it. <laughs> this looks like a one unit over here. This is not a typical screw, so it's going to get people confused, uh, which is good. That is the whole purpose of this. And then the bottom looks like this. I think it aligns really well. So if we're looking at it from this angle, yeah, you can tell that there is a license plate frame over there. But the benefit that you get with this system is that there is nothing sticking out and the screw, there is enough clearance on the screw as you see that it's not going to scratch the car surface or anything. And it looks really cool. So that is a solution if your state requires a dual license plate, so in the back. The one that Tesla sends you uh, needs to be permanently stick to this uh, bumper over here. So if you don't wanna do that, this is a really nice alternative to that. All right, I just did a 75 miles per hour speed test on this and it is still intact and super secure. I didn't hear any rattling or anything from this. So I think this is a good solution. If you need a license plate frame for the front where it doesn't require removal of bumper or drilling or anything, super simple, a one minute installation and that gives you this benefit, then this is a really great choice. So what do you all think of this solution? Do you like it? Would you get it for your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y? And I'm really curious, how many of you live in a state that require the dual license plate? I come from Colorado originally where the, the dual license plate was required, but here in Pennsylvania, we don't require dual license plate. There's only one in the rear. We don't even get it from the DMV. They only issue one license plate. So I'm really curious on knowing your feedback, if your state requires it. What type of solution have you incorporated? Do you just use the one that Tesla sends you that just sticks in the front or have you encountered other ones or purchased other ones that are like this where you can easily remove this? I think there's a lot of use cases for this and this is a really great product. It does the job. We tested it earlier. Uh, other than the fact that they need to figure out how to secure this a little bit better so that we can easily remove this, pop this out. I think this is a great product. It is very lightweight and very secure and it solves 
the problem that many people are having. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any thoughts about this product or any other product we have reviewed in the channel, please let us know in the comment section below. If you'd also like us to review more products, any website, any vendor, please let us know in the comment section, then we'll reach out to those people and review those products. Thank you very much for your continued support to the channel. We're growing every day. We really, really appreciate it. Please come back again soon for another Tesla video.